the mod review, or I don't review, or whatever you want to call them. I prefer mod. Well, I just. I think you can say it's a mod, I guess. I watched a lot of, like, Java. Well, most people, most YouTubers have Java videos. Yeah, these things. I just call them mods because I've known them as mods since before Minecraft Bedrock was even a thing. Well, if you want to count mobile version that predated Bedrock. Same, but uh, today we're doing the meetings, and it gave me another one of these books. Okay, I got it. Fresh Bye bye. And it's still no. Uh, let's sleep. So, uh, this mod, I. Unlike the other mods that I've uh, reviewed so far, I have a little bit of like survival experience with this because I've like made a you know, survival world with a bunch of mods on it. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna get more into that. Lily, could you not press the space bar, please? I want to play Minecraft. No. Um. So welcome! Oh my God, this page is 42 pages. Yeah. And uh, add on there is. They can be found in the same place as a regular counterpart. So yeah, my. I don't. Really have one. Please. Stop pressing the key. So I think how this works is that. Um, you just that they like just copied and pasted more or less the same like spawn conditions as. Their regular counterparts, um, and yeah, I can. I'm gonna talk about this a bit more later. Uh, let's see, we've got mutant skeleton, yeah. dad drops mutant bones, you've got some mutant chicken, which drops eggs of the nutrition, got the mutant wolf that drops mutant pet, pearls, who needs a horse when you have a mutant wolf. Feed this pop some mutant skeleton bones to have a re rideable. Why did I struggle with that way? Oh, I don't know. And deadly new best friend. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Um got the mutant squid which drops mutant sags, you got mutant zombie which drops mutant flash, you got mutant creeper which drops power powder. Got the mutant iron golem. Jacko lantern and the four blocks of iron to build the chest. Place the iron blocks in a T shape and simply add the uh, mutant Jacko lantern on top. I don't know why you needed to do this. I guess it, they put it on two pages because they didn't. Add, it doesn't have like. You got the mutant Enderman that drops the Ender Heart. You've got the mutant Frog which drops mutant Frog slime. You've got mutant Piglin which drops nothing. Gold will no longer be a safeguard. Uh, yeah. Bastion. Double mutant gas, which drops mutant gas tears. Got some mutant wither skeleton, which drops mutant wither skeleton head. Mutant wither. Oh, yeah. So you get the mutant wither skeleton, and then you've got. Uh, if you are bold enough to fight this monstrosity, you first must gather four soul sand and four soul sand. Oh. Uh, next place is the yeah, so it's item drop, never heart. Check out the, yeah, so this is crafting, so you can craft a new item. We've got the mutant wolf rug. Cool looking rug. Nine mutant wolf health. We've got the mutant ink vial. Uh, throw this sucker to escape your enemies with a big old ink You to take the sack across the glass bottle. Teleportation rod. This uh, myst mystical rod allows the user to harness the power of mutant enderman. Basically, it just teleports you forward. One ender heart, one stick. Bottle of mutant tears. A powerful light and the Power of light and the decrying all in a bottle. Throw this ghastly item to reclaim the skies. 
community casting at an impossible. Uh, item beacon, just like a regular beacon. The portable, keep this item in your offhand with constant strength. Oh, that's actually cool. Never had an Oh, that is very expensive. Mutant slime block places a handy block down. Creation. Block. Mutant box. Block. Mutant vial. Throw this uh, vial to turn a certain object from regular to mutant. One power powder and one that's cotton. Got the charm the mutant vial. Regular mobs are actually pretty cool. Throw this upgraded uh, vial to mutate mutants. Oh, that's pretty cool. Got mutant fog slime and glass bottle. Mutant jack o' lantern. Mutant fog flesh pumpkin. Oh, this is uh, pretty easy. Uh, grazing. So, let's start off with the. Uh, well, actually, I don't want to do it in my base because. Uh, this can be a bit. Can I? Oh. Uh, where's the uh, I think there's an old. There's a village. Yeah, in this direction. I use the village of Reed. Uh, yeah. Go out this way. Diamond chest plate on. So I'm probably gonna need it if I'm fighting the mutant. Can I just do one more mutant? Yes, I can. Let's do zombie first. This is the mutant. <laughs> If I have got full diamond armor, but yeah, two, not one, but two of these suckers that spawn that in my survival world, and yeah, their TN the explosive they throw do do damage. They you know they expl explode just like a TNT, and unlike in Java, you know they don't drop everything. And one of them managed to get through my two by two door into my house and destroy half of my chest. So yeah, not a fun time, but let me just like give that piece some pumpkin, is it a pumpkin or a jack-o'-lantern? Lantern, mutant iron flesh, what and pumpkin. Yeah, it's just mutant iron flesh and pumpkin. Here we are. Mutant Jack O' Lantern. That actually looks pretty cool. Well, is it? Is it? Set in mid. Yeah. Time set. Yeah. What is wrong with me today? Mid. Nope, does not glow. Oh, and you break in one punch. Let me get some uh, give at P uh, on. One, two. And bam. Mutant Iron Golem. Oh, there's a mutant. 
Okay, that's cool. Phone block. <laughs> Did he teleport me? Oh, and he's dead. And we got the end of heart. This was crashed into a <laughs> I am so glad that I've got a sharpness 5 sword to see. Yeah. You can just get attacked out of nowhere with this mod. I forgot that this village had a black. I'm gonna go hide in the black. Oh, and there's a mutant skeleton. Come on. There we go. Did you drop anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, I can uh, steal a rock and double check the crafting recipe for this. Uh, Teleport award? Yeah, just a stick. Stick. That piece. What's that? Oh. I want to try that. So, the recipes don't seem to unlock here, which is really annoying. But we got the teleporter rod anyway. <laughs> Basically, an infinite ender pill by the looks of it. Uh, it doesn't seem to teleport you very far. Though. Can you teleport straight up? If this allowed you to like teleport for, like long, you know, teleport long distance, I could like right click there, it was like right click from that, from that mountain, and it would just instantly teleport me there, then it would be cool, but it's kind of a letdown, eh. Uh, not really worth crafting. Um, let's see, who's next? Let's do Creeper. So I probably did score my survival world by the fight, but yeah, the uh, Muses zombies did get me in definitely because I had I had unenchanted diamond armor. Uh, so yeah, if you if you don't have fully enchanted diamond armor, these can probably these will probably wreck you. Uh, and the mutant uh, zombies attacks go through shields as well. So we want a mutant creeper. <laughs> Also, 
so shabby. <laughs> He died at this. And they explode upon death. Great. I really do not like that they explode upon death. Uh, if you didn't know, this was actually something that people used to do. But not just like, nah, that's a bad idea. Like, yeah. You can see why it's a bad idea. Uh, so yeah, would not recommend fighting these in your base, like, at all. Like, even if you win, your base is going to get blue. Yep. Uh, what was this? Oh, yeah. Trial, teleportation rod. You can kill. Let's not use for anything. That was only. Oh, wait. Power power, the glass bottle for me. Yeah, threat can make stuff into mutants. Okay. Right, well, might as well take a look at it. Give that the glass bottles. And let's craft up one of one of these. Uh, uh what's our next? What's the next? I get summon Rod. I thought boom. And you're muted now. Oh, and he's already <laughs> And he's dead. Where's our mutant frog slime at? I've got looting free and it's still possible for them to drop from nothing. Hold on. Die, die, die. Is very powerful? I mean, frogs are naturally passive. There we go. Mutant frog slime. This is you. Uh, Frog slime to make a mutant slime block and the, the unmutified glass bottle. Okay, let's kill a few more of these. Actually, I should more because I'm a bit Generating a Minecraft bitrock is a. <laughs> Give myself a mutant frog slime. Also, if you want to see what the vial looks like, there you go. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's summon in. Well, now there's no mean. Let's summon mutant frog. It would help if I had it in my. There you go, now he's just a regular frog. E F F E C T at P instant health two five 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 boom. I think I did that. Right. I think it's just like 
Hopefully I didn't accidentally make myself immortal, which you can do, it's just by giving yourself instant health. And that's all I can do. So, mutant slang block. Is ah, it gives you slowness. Okay. Slime block with slow. Oh, you don't. Hmm. Hold on. PP at P. Tab tab one hundred tab. Nope, does not does not uh, do that. Does not make you immune to fall damage. Huh? Alright, let's uh, go on to the next one. So we've done We've seen the mutant skeleton, but let's let's get a better look at it. Those are very powerful anyway. Scaly Tom. Yeah, he's dual wielding crossbows. Yeah, he can shoot. Yeah, he can shoot me. Yep. Yeah. Wait for him. There he is. Oh no, he does drop stuff. He drops the mutant skeleton bones. These mutant drops are a bit. Well, no, I don't think they're real. I just think that they're. they're, they're I just think that they are not affected by looting. That looks a bit. Uh, what are mutant skeletons? Um, nothing. Uh, 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 oh, I know. You use these to summon the mutant wolf. Let's give myself a stack of these. Skeleton bone sixty four. Come on, mutant wolf. <coughs> they are natural, but yeah, you can just tame it. Okay, um, oh, wolf mount. This is pretty cool. But, like, looks more like a werewolf. I mean. Oh, yeah. That's the difference, really. Yeah, if I get off him and then I just like go up and punch a lion, will he go attack that lion? Much damage, is it? I need to. Right, let's kill him and let's get some music. Let's give myself nine of them so I can craft. Huh? Uh, nine. Boom. Let's get a crafting table and craft up a mutant wolf pelt thing. Oh my god, that's so f effing lame. What is this? Seriously? You kill... Excuse me. You kill nine mutant wolves for this? That is not worth it at all. Hey, why haven't I killed yet? Killed, killed, killed. Uh, mutant squid. <laughs> Summon someone on land, see if it dies. Mutant 
Oh, he can still attack me. It is stuck. And it's... Oh. Uh, got three using the exact. So let's try, try fighting in. It, it just dies and wins. Very sharp and slide down. I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's a mutant squid. What did you expect, really? Of course, it's going to be like the weakest along with. I like. I'm surprised the chicken is more powerful than the squid. Uh, what can I craft with the uh, mutant squid inks? Uh, oh, help, insect, plus press two. Yes, I do it here. Ah, uh, yes. And if I have it. That's all I can craft with it. Okay, let's see how this works. Uh, it gives you, okay, it gives you slowness and blindness, but I assume if I didn't throw it on top of myself, then it would have worked so. out. Okay, so like, oh yeah, you can see there's a path to fix it, so I assume now they have slowness and blindness. I don't actually know if the blindness affects, uh... Mobs. So this might be more of a PvP item than anything else. Okay, here are the types of So just got piglin and gas. So let's do the Piglin first. Oh. oh, he's a fast. Okay, he's charging. He destroys blocks. I should eat. Yeah. Oh, this guy. This guy is a nasty fella. There he is. So yeah, even with like full diamond armor and a uh, uh, sharpness five sword, you need to be careful of him. Uh, what's is he, is he dead? Is he not dead? Is he bug? I think he's bug. Uh, hmm. Where do we need to be? Oh. The game was not happy. Okay. Time set there. Oh, Piglin. You know, he doesn't drop any. He doesn't drop anything, so... Uh, I just want to look into a bin. Just a big old challenge for another. Nothing super interesting about him. Now the gas. This gas he does drop something. So uh, let me just see if This is a crossbow with piercing and 
uh, hours of decay. So, not too difficult to kill. A decent power bow should take him out. And they dropped. Uh, they drop mutant gas to you. Here we are. Just tears. Oh. What they look like. Uh, huh? of mutant tears. Powerful fly. Oh, yeah. This may actually be interesting. Let's get these and then these. And craft up some of these. Ah, oh, one more trailer. And we fly. Oh, mutant chicken. good like it i it's better than the uh ender rod or whatever it was called because this could actually be used to clear large gaps and you uh if i put my elytra on does this work with the elytra where is my elytra uh -huh. there it is my dragon ring can i just go up yeah. yeah. Can you like, use it to help you take off? Which is uh, decent. <laughs> oh, oh. Dog. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Back to me, because uh, mutant chickens are uh, annoying. Uh, yeah. Uh, not going to be too sad if they fall into the lava, but definitely useful. Alright, so that has a mutant skeleton and a mutant skeleton with a skeleton. This is a Legend River Skeleton. Oh, that, that is cool. He's got two massive balls. Not much damage to me, though. I still have the might, might have still been invincible from the. Yeah, he's not really doing much damage. I'm not really dropping the uh, River Heads. But Hmm. I guess the heads. Oh. Let's oh, another one of these bleeding mutant chickens. Give myself my inventory just full of rubbish. I'm just gonna clear some of this rubbish out. Right. Let's give myself the Uh, 
Jonas Kelly's con Greetings the best skeleton The skeleton skull. And I want two more of these. And soul sand. That key soul sand. Sand four. down.
Is there not even a 100% chance of guarantee I'm gonna get it? Oh no, there is. Uh oh. Uh. These men are more than a river. Let's give myself a beacon. Beacon. And then you craft that with that and then let's give me the how do I do this again? I can make a never heart beacon, never heart on the top. There we go. And now I have strength and regeneration. Okay. Now, this is pretty strong, but you know what? Do you have to give up a. A totem of dying, which I think pretty much does balance it out. Uh. So it's not super overpowered, but it is pretty strong. Uh -huh. So, and it doesn't work, it does work if you hold. Ah! Yeah, seven. Uh, well, so, you could put, what you could probably do is you could probably just like put it in your offhand, get a bit of strength and regeneration, take it out of your offhand, and put replace it with the uh, with and die and keep fighting. Ah, uh, that's pretty much ever. I think that's literally everything. Uh, that's why I'm But I'm going to go on to the wind task. With a boss, yeah. Yeah. Boss war, getting well. Patient ward, possibly the ears. Patient beacon, boss. Yeah, that's everything for this mod. Now, or I don't know, again, whatever you want to call it. Now, would I recommend this? It is a bit hard. Uh, if I were to, you know, if I were to make, you know, make changes to this mod, less breathing would be, like, this, look at this area, like, the, like there's just too many mutants that have, uh, you know, explosive and destructive moves. Like, the chicken has fire breath that, you know, if you have a wood, wooden build, then that's going to go up in flames. Uh, the zombie throws a big thing of TNT, which blows up your stuff. The creep, mutant creeper dart explodes upon dying, which is just a big move, like I said earlier. So, I would basically make it so that the zomb just remove the zombie's explosive move and just like replace it with like him throwing like a big block, of, block, or, block or something, like a boulder. Uh, and maybe make like the Enderman Pro more blocks because I remember in like the ja original like Java mutants mod, the Enderman like something like mutant Enderman something like multiple blocks at once and then threw them like one at a time. That was cool. Maybe change it. Maybe like. And something you could do with, like the mutant Enderman. Maybe like you could have it like take blocks from that, but you could also like have it like um. I mean, like some very powerful blocks, like maybe like an obsidian block that like, does a bunch of damage, or maybe like a lava, or like maybe have it, like maybe have it have a chance of like turning a block of stone to a lava block, and then maybe have like another a uh, small chance of that lava block to be turned into an obsidian block. And like obviously like, the lava block would you know, place a block of lava, and the obsidian block would just do a bunch of damage, like maybe like ten damage from one obsidian block. Um, that might be cool. Um, and also what I would do is make them very rare, because like I said, um, in my, in the spiral world, I had like two, uh, zombie, uh, uh, yeah, mutant zombies attack me, um, and I, with full diamond armor, I was stuck in a death loop. So, yeah, they are a bit too common for how powerful they are. Um, like, and you even like saw in this, like, we, 
like with all the mutant chickens that have spawned while uh, I've been doing the, this review, they are very like common. And something I would also change is there's not really any weapons. Like, yeah, sure, the uh, Titan Beacon is uh, cool, but it's like the like penultimate item. Like, it's the very last item. Like, it's that, that has to be cool. Um, but uh, I think it would be cool to have mutant weapons. So like, well, like the mutant, like, even if it's just like taking like two, you know, using the mutant items, uh, mutant mob scrubs, like the mutant uh, bones and the mutant one in flesh and the mutant pelt, craft like armor sets and weapons, tools and weapons out of them. That would be cool and it would add, and it would put a bit, bit more meat on the bonus and it would uh, make it feel like fighting these mutants is worth it rather than just a really strong monster or a really strong mob that you have to kill uh, because like, it'll just like destroy, like burn down your house or, just, or blow up your house or whatever. Um, the I because it's, the item I'm getting is worth killing the mutants. Like the wolf pelt is lame. That's really only good for like uh, multi PvP. That's just lame. It doesn't teleport you very far. That's oh, uh, that's decent. Like I, but that's the mutant gas. Like you have to, you're gonna have to go out your way to find that like, mutant gas, probably. Um, like I said this is decent, but again. Like, you have to kill the river to get that. Well, you have to kill the mutant river and the river, so... Yeah, that's pretty much pointless. This is nice if you want to try and farm some of the items, but... Uh, so, if you want to try and get more, like, river... Mutant river skulls to get the, uh, thing. Uh, I guess that could be useful if you, like... Just want to kill uh, instead of killing some mutant creepers, you just splash out on them. Huh? This is all right. I don't really think the mutant uh, Clan Golem did anything. Really? Come on. Mutant. I won. Oh. I won. I won. I really don't think he did anything. It's just not that good. Like, it took four hits to kill a regular zombie, where if I summon a regular. I, um. Uh, kills in two hits. Where this guy takes four. We. Yeah, he's not really very good. Like you might as well just craft a regular iron golem. It says nothing about him. Yeah, not. I would not really recommend this mod. Yeah, because just unless like you want, unless you just like want to make the world harder. Because if you want to make the world harder, this is definitely a good mod to do so. But it's not really any benefit to. Uh, is decent.
diamond sword. Like, oh, and here's an actual spawning. <laughs> If they update this in the future and add uh, like armor sets and the, the cool and weapon sets for all of the mutant creatures, then that then that'd be cool. And I definitely, yeah, like, I would definitely recommend it as long as I like, as long as like the sets are at least as good as diamond, like, or have like, uh, give you like regen regeneration or resistance or strength depending on the set. And both, both the mutant iron golem, for Pete's sake. Like, he is definitely way too weak. Um, like, he needs at least one shot an unarmored regular zombie. Come on. Come on. But yeah, I hope you guys all uh, did enjoy this video. Hope to see you guys in the next video, and uh, bye. Yeah.